जय हिंद ऑल माई सेल्फ अमिता अस्थाना फ्रॉम अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट डिजिटल सिस्टम डिजाइन के सी थ्री जीरो टू एंड वी आर टेकिंग द टॉपिक फ्रॉम फोर्थ यूनिट एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द वेरियस लॉजिक फैमिलीज इन दिस यूनिट लाइक टी टी एल ई सी एल सी मॉस एंड ऑल सो हेयर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट टी टी एल लॉजिक फैमिली दैट इज ट्रांजिस्टर ट्रांजिस्टर लॉजिक फैमिली द होल लॉजिक इज बेस्ड ऑन एक्चुअली दी ट्रांजिस्टर्स सो सो देर आर वेरियस करेक्टरिस्टिक्स अबाउट द लॉजिक फैमिलीज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गोइंग फॉर दोज करेक्टरिस्टिक्स so the contents of this presentation for will be logic families introduction first then uh, the logic families performance characteristics and then we will understand the ttl logic family how it going to how it is going to work and so here is starting from the logic families introduction so uh, we have heard of many uh, technologies uh, Uh, day by day we are uh, changing the technology so logic families are classified broadly depending on the technology what technology is going on so here uh, there are various logic families and for a particular application which technology is good that that is also a matter of uh, thought so here uh, the logic families which we are using they are uh, register transistor logic rtl the emitter coupled logic ecl the diode transistor logic dtl and transistor transistor logic ttl and cmos complementary metal oxide semiconductor logic so here uh, the if we talk of uh, application wise then ttl and cmos logic families are widely used nowadays so here logic type logic types each logic type is known as a family and they are uh, characterized or they are evaluated on the basis of their speed the power consumption temperature range voltage level and the current level so uh, there are various uh, you know uh, parameters okay speed power temperature range right voltage level all these uh, things uh, for these logic families uh, we will derive for a particular application if we implement a circuit then we can compare the logic uh, for that circuit only and we will uh, we will get to know which particular technology is well suited for that particular application so they these are various parameters sometimes these parameters are related to miniaturization also so here uh, first of all but as far as our uh, concern we are concerned to this that we should understand about the characteristics of these logic families so uh, going to that so here uh, we are having some performance characteristics of uh, logic families as we know so now we have four parameters basically uh, sometimes the uh, questions uh, may come from uh, what are the parameters v o h v o l v i h and v i l maximum now these parameters are being evaluated between two gates right here so let us understand how we are defining these four parameters so taking the first one the voh minimum voh means o represent for the uh, output okay and h represent for high if the output is high then the minimum minimum voltage level for output to maintain in the logical state one under desired load condition that is known as this is the definition of voh minimum right now coming to the vol maximum 
again the o stands for the output and l stands for the logic state 0 okay so now defining this any output to uh, go to the state of logical state 0 and what should be the maximum voltage level at the output under defined load condition that is known as VOL max. Now coming to third parameter again here I stands for the input and H stands for the high. High means logical state 1. So minimum voltage required minimum voltage required for input to be at logic state 1 under desired load condition. So that is VIH minimum. Now coming to the VIL maximum, the maximum voltage, okay, the maximum voltage for input to be recognized as logical state 0 and what should be that maximum voltage for 0 it is the maximum and for 1 it should it is minimum. So here the trick is to uh, learn all these things is the uh, first of all you must understand these uh, notations are what these notations are and whenever we are talking of the high we are talking of minimum see here we are talking of the minimum and we are whenever we are talking of the L we are talking of the maximum right so so this is what uh, we can understand now now to get the feel of this to get the feel of this let uh, let us say we are taking an example of here we are having one NAND gate and here we are having one NOT gate. Similarly here we are having a NOT gate and this is uh, and NAND gate and NOT gate high and for low let us define and understand. So here VOL and IOL okay V I, I current current IL and voltage VIL. So, VOL means v, the, uh, the output is low. The input is when the output is low that will go as input to be low. Okay. So, VOL, VOL what we will define as maximum. VOL we will define as maximum because I told you for low, low we are taking the maximum. VIL that is v, VIL is what? VIL is again maximum voltage for uh, to, to be the logic state 0 and required at the input side. Okay. So, here we can understand this for the low and similarly for high we can define it as VOH and VIL. So, we have, ta we have uh, understood these four parameters VOL, VIL, VOH, VIH in this way. Right. So, uh, this is uh, how we can uh, understand these two uh, concepts. Now, coming to the next one for the current also. Similarly, we can define the current for uh, the IOH, IOL, IIH and IIL. So, current flowing into an output in the logical state 1 is again high under specified load conditions. Again for VOL we can define logical state will be 0 and the uh, uh, O is stands for the output. So, current flowing into an output for logical state 0. Okay. I, I, H, I stand for input and H stands for high. So, current flowing into, into the input for logical state to be high. Similarly, I, I, L, I, I means current and small i means input and L means low. Logical state will be low and current, current is flowing into the input. So, here again we are having four parameters same as before. So, these I, I, L, I, O, L, I, O, H, I, I, H. This is O for output, this is for input again this is for input and this is for like this. So, here we can understand all these four parameters. Again 
some more performance characteristics uh, including these uh, vih voh uh, vol vil so we have some more parameters and these definitions are also important now taking uh, first first definition as fan in fan in for a logic family what is the fan in condition fan is fan in is the number of inputs that the gate can handle without disturbing the output level if we are talking of a gate so what are the number of inputs we can give to the gate that is known as fan in right so this is a very simple definition we can learn very easily now fan out coming to the fan out fan out condition is related to the loading factor or maximum number of any logic input that the output can drive reliably so we are talking here of logic circuit so the logic circuit output is generally required to drive multiple logic inputs whenever we are taking a logic circuit we will get one output and that output can drive multiple logic inputs so whenever this is uh, driving some logic inputs then we must assure what is the loading factor of that fan out that means the if that output is going uh, to uh, as input to another logic circuit then what should be the maximum number of logic inputs that a output can drive easily okay so understood the point so here we are taking a logic circuit we are giving the uh, we are taking the output from the logic circuit that output is driving so many inputs for any other logic circuit and fan out will be that loading factor the output can handle number of inputs is known as fan out here we are talking of a gate so the gate can handle the number of inputs that the gate can handle without disturbing the output is known as fan in so fan in and fan out we have discussed now coming to the power dissipation see where whatever the logic family we are taking the power dissipation is very important criteria power required by the logic circuit for des any desired operation is known as power dissipation okay so this is also important parameter so what is the power dissipation what is the consumption of power you can say so if we can calculate the power dissipation this is directly related to the heat for any uh, logic circuit so this is also one important parameter it should not happen your ic gets burned and the uh, power uh, dissipation or uh, power consumption is so high for a given logic family so this is one also a very important parameter we must understand now coming to the figure of merit the figure of merit is nothing but a power delay product, product that is propagation delay time into power here figure of merit the propagation delay time should be nanosecond what is happening whenever we are taking a logic circuit or a gate the propagation delay for a given gate is very very less and it is uh, measured in the nanosecond at the nanosecond level and here the power is uh, very less for a ic for a chip the power is very less that is milliwatt in terms of milliwatt so power delay product is defined as a propagation delay time that should be measured in nanosecond and power that is milliwatt in uh, milliwatt so here we are defining the figure of merit right now coming to the the after discussing these four definitions we can uh, get some idea about the propagation delay and uh, what should be the average delay now whenever there is an input the output comes maybe input may be 0 or 1 the output may be 0 or 1 but as at the time instant t is equal to 0 if we are giving any input output doesn't come at the same t is equal to 0 or t is equal to t so there is a delay there is a short delay and this delay is measured for a given logic circuit now there are two types of delay we can define that is from coming to high to low and low to high 
whenever there is a switching from low to high or high to low then that average must be calculated to get the total overall propagation delay so here delay uh, there are two parameters which we will define tplh and tphl delay time in going from logical state 0 to logical state 1 tphl delay time in going from logical 1 state to logical 0 state high to low so uh, let uh, let us understand this suppose we are giving this particular input right and the output is not coming at the same moment but it takes some you know some delay okay so from this output gets one so there will be a delay okay from this it is going to be at zero there must be some delay so what we can define is this will be propagation from high to high to low this is the total P PHL. Similarly, here the total PLH we can define and the average delay will be TPHL plus TPLH upon 2. Some more uh, and important characteristics of uh, logic primary that is noise and noise immunity. So, there are some magnetic field electric field which can induce voltages on the connecting wires between logic circuit and that is known as noise we all know these unwanted uh, signals which can destroy the uh, output or uh, that can lead to any undesirable uh, operation of the circuit that is known as noise so uh, so noise immunity we have we define a very important term that is noise margin and this noise margin is the termed as a noise immunity the circuit's ability to tolerate the noise without any change in the output voltage is known as noise margin so here this noise immunity term is important and the noise margin is also important so uh, noise immunity a uh, ability uh, the ability of a circuit to withstand or to tackle the noise or to tolerate the noise uh, uh, so that the output does not get changed. So, the, that is known as noise immunity or noise margin. So, we have uh, a very important figure as we can see the there are uh, two diagrams which are being shown here this is uh, logic 0 and this is logic 1 we have mentioned and uh, this particular is the disallowed range from logic 0 to logic 1 this is not allowed at all but uh, there are conditions when the in this is but this particular st stage is happening and again the logic 1 and logic 0 so how this is going to be defined high state noise and low state noise we are going to define now these are the output voltage ranges and this is input voltage ranges so this we have made for output and this is for the input now see if we talk of the output voltage range we will mention voh and vol we have already defined o is for output and h for high and the minimum voltage required for out for output to maintain as a high state at that given load condition similarly here this is the maximum voltage at the output for uh, to remain in the state of zero so this is for output and this is for input we have mentioned the voh and vol marking similarly for input we will uh, mention the vih and vil uh, marking so vil ma maximum we have mentioned vih minimum we have mentioned now we want to calculate the uh, VNH and VNL and these are known as the noise margins. So, we define the parameter VNH as VOH minimum minus VIH minimum. If we have mentioned what is V, uh, let us under VOH minimum, VOH minimum, let us draw VOH minimum is this, right. 
and uh, vih minimum is this one so whatever be the difference here this will be known as vnh similarly for vnl vnl we will calculate vol maximum vil maximum and this will be the vnl as we can see from the diagram so these two parameters are important as noise margin the quantitative measure is known as noise margin so vnh and vnl are sometimes uh, required for the noise uh, noise parameters so that is how we calculate the two vnh and vnl values now coming to the ttl family so ttl family is a transistor transistor logic family the here we are uh, making the logic family by use of only transistor so ttl gates use a plus 5 volt supply okay that uh, maybe sometime plus minus 0.25 volt supply also and they are capable of high speed operation so in uh, today's world we are having more than 6, 600 different logic are available with ttl family most ttl families they are based on transistor transistor logic and having the same uh, structure or architecture what uh, type of gates we are using in this family is tt nand gate and and gate are used with the transistor transistor logic and one more thing is the uh, maybe transistors are used with multiple uh, emitter and multiple diode junction inputs so we will see in the next diagram how we are uh, uh, driving a particular circuit transistor logic circuit by the use of multiple inputs now nor and or gates are using separate input transistors so the input and output of a will be the cathode of a pn junction so here the basic operation will be depending on a uh, on the diode logic whether uh, the diode is on or off the transistor is on or off that we will uh, analyze whenever we want to drive any output from the ttl logic family for the given input we must uh, uh, see which are the diodes in the circuit they are on which or which are the diodes they are off and what are the transistor state it's it is it in on state or off state these four things if we are able to analyze then we can uh, get the uh, output of a, of any ttl logic family for the given input condition so most ttl circuits have some types of totem pole output configuration so totem pole output configuration is also very important in ttl family logic because uh, we will see how these to totem pole arrangement we are taking two transistors and they uh, these two transistors are depending on each other like if one is on then another one is off and one is off then another one is on like this as a kind of totem pole arrangement is called as we will see in the next diagram so here whatever i told you that we are having the transistor in the circuit this is q1 q q3 q4 and q2 and here this is the transistor with multiple inputs and the diodes so uh, we will uh, understand these uh, circuits in detail in the next video lecture thank you